Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend daily moments, meaningful moments with the master, looking at God's word, making practical application of sacred scripture to the days and times in which we live. Thank you for joining us as we continue this theme. Uh, God orders my steps, but it's up to me to move my feet. It's based on Psalm 37 and verse 23, where we are told the steps of a good man or a good person are ordered by the Lord. And that word ordered means that God sets us up, opens doors for us, arranges wonderful opportunities for us. But once God sets us up or orders something for our life, then it's up to us to then move our feet. You know, uh, I remember hearing about a sociologist uh, whose name is Gary Thomas. And Gary Thomas was a Christian sociologist who trusted God to order his steps in all of the small details of life. There was a home for sale and he had wanted to purchase the home, but he wanted to know that it was what God wanted him to do. He wanted God to order it to God, to set it up for him to have the home. But then he was going to ask God to help him to move his feet if God had ordered for him to live in the house. So after prayer with his wife, trusting God, they sensed that God was really calling for them to move into this house, that God was setting them up to purchase the house and they purchased the house and he moved his feet. God wanted him to have it. Okay, he's prayed about it. And so now he's moving his feet and he's now signed on the dotted line and he's the owner of this house. But then about 10 years later, the neighborhood started changing. There was a demographic change in the neighborhood and the price of property began to decline. And what he paid for the house, he began to lose equity in the house because all around him, things were in transition in a downward spiral. And he wondered, now wait a minute, I prayed that God would order my steps. I moved my feet and signed on the dotted line and purchased the home. And now the community has changed and I'm losing my economic investment. I don't understand this. And there may be times in your life when God has ordered your steps, you've moved your feet. And it seems like that when you look at your life, things are not ascending, but they're going down. I know that's what Titus was feeling. Titus, who was a colleague of the apostle Paul, one of his ministers, who he sent to an island called Crete. And Crete was a terrible place to be. I mean, no one wanted to be in Crete. And that's where Paul sent Titus to minister and to start a church there in Crete. And so verse five, is Paul responding to Titus. It's apparent that when you read verse five, that Paul is responding to a question or some correspondence that Titus had sent him. And no doubt the correspondence was simply this. Why did you appoint me here in Crete? You put Titus in Ephesus, and now you don't put me in this place called Crete. And what made Crete so bad is that it was an island. It was out in the middle of nowhere. And notice what Paul says in response to the question, why did you bring me and put me here in Crete? And Paul says, I left you in Crete so that you could put in order. There's that word, order my steps again. You will put in order the things that are needed. I put you in Crete, even though it's a bad situation, so that you could fix the bad situation. Now that's the, basically the same thing that 
God revealed to Joseph. Remember Joseph in the book of Genesis and Joseph was in a bad situation also and his brothers remember sold him into slavery and but he ended up in Egypt. He ended up, remember, he ended up uh, uh, as the prime minister all of e over Egypt. And later after his brothers came to him in the last chapter of Genesis and asked for his forgiveness, notice what he, Joseph says to them. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the savings of many lives. Which is to say, that although Titus was put in a difficult situation in Crete, God had ordered his steps because God wanted him to set the bad situation right. And though Joseph was in a bad situation, God ordered his steps because God wanted Joseph to be in a situation to bless his family during the time of a famine. Which brings us back to Gary Thomas, the sociologist who was a Christian who prayed about everything and asked God, God, do you want me to buy this house? Did you order this? Did you set this up for me? And once he realized that God had done it, he moved his feet along with his wife and they purchased the home. The only problem is the community is in decline and now he's losing the investment that he's put in the house. And so he's wondering, now, what is God up to? And perhaps you're wondering, well, God, I trusted you, but look at what situation I'm in now. I'm in Crete, or I'm like Joseph, I was in jail, or I'm like, I am like, uh, oh my God, I am like this, um, uh, this sociology, Gary Thomas. I thought I was making a good investment, and now I'm seeing that the investment is going down, the, my property value is going down. But when his wife prayed and asked God for insight and illumination as to why things were happening, that's when God said, I ordered your steps to that house and I wanted you to move your feet. And the reason I wanted you to move your feet was because I knew that the community was gonna be in transition. And I knew there was going to be a lot of people who had a whole lot of social issues and you are a sociologist. And I wanted you to purchase that house and move your feet towards purchasing the house because I knew that community as it was declining was going to need a Christian sociologist there in that community in order to bless other folk. In other words, when God orders your steps and you move your feet, don't think selfishly. Don't think that God has ordered your steps and you're moving your feet because you're supposed to have some financial windfall or that you're supposed, it's all about you and you're supposed to be blessed. No, God orders your steps, move your feet because maybe God wants you to make a difference in a community that is transitioning like Gary Thomas's community was transitioning. Or maybe you're at a job where there's some mean people and you say, God, did you really put me here? And God will say, yes, because I needed somebody to be a witness in that particular job, that bad job. I needed a special person for a special place. So Titus, I put you in Crete to set things in order. And Joseph, I put you in Egypt so that you can help your family. And Gary Thomas, I put you in a community that's transitioning because they needed the witness of a Christian sociologist. And there are many reasons why God may put you in a particular situation. But don't think that just because you don't see financial prosperity or just because you may be in Crete where there's some difficult people, that God's not in it. God is in it. God knows what he's doing. God ordered it. You moved your feet because God has a special assignment for you, Titus, in Crete, for you, Joseph, in Egypt, for you, Gary Thomas, in this transitional community. And whoever is listening, 
God has a special assignment for you in the difficult situation that you're in, and that is to make a difference. Amen. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Order our steps, help us to move our feet, and ultimately help us to move our feet, not so that we can be blessed, but so that we can be a channel of blessing to someone else. We trust you. Reveal to us, oh God, why it is that you ordered this and why we moved our feet, why you had that to happen. Reveal to us what your purpose and plan is. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being with me today. Another, another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church on, we'd like to invite you to become a part of the St. Stephen Church. Please contact us here at St. Stephen. Email us, newstart at ssclive.org. Peace and blessings to you. And until we meet tomorrow, don't forget during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. I'll see you tomorrow.